It's time for Tales of Terror, only on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated R and is recommended restricted for anyone under the age of 17. This is the Transmissions from Atlantis Entertainment Network. Expand your wonder. Where the fuck is Jack? We're being decimated. We have been betrayed, Ulfur. He has sent us to the slaughter. Where is Jackie Holtup and his serialing, Mongrel? And who are you? I am the one that destroys your deceased back. I am the eliminator of the weakness of the current brood of vampires. I am the remaker, the conqueror of this world. I am Uber Leaky, the god of the vampires. So, you are the one, eh? I expected you to be more mm, bat-like. You look like any of these other blood-sucking bastards. Oh, you will find that I'm much more than that. I am Ulfa, Kaiser of the Wolves of London. A king of the mongrels. You would do well to speak to me with respect. And you, my furry monstrosity, would do well to comprehend that your end is at hand. Now, how should you meet it? Like him? Or do I make it easy and just have my minions devour you? I hear immolation is prolonged by your fool, and the agony is like no other torture. What do you want from me? Tell me where Jackie Hotep is. Do you mean Jack the Ripper? If that's what he calls himself now. I'm afraid you're out of luck, Lee Key. I have no idea where the hell he is. He was supposed to be here. And Methuselah? Who? Come now. You know of Methuselah. Lying to me is not going to make this end any easier for you. I don't know anyone by that name. Then what do you know? That there's blood reapers right behind you. And about to take you out. Transmissions from Atlantis Entertainment presents The Vampires of Whitechapel, the final season, chapter 21, Leaky's Curse, written by J.C. De La Torre. The Vampires of Whitechapel opening theme, awakening and closing theme, Dark Legacy is by Midnight Syndicate. Other music in this episode is by J.C. De La Torre and Atlantis Paradox. Note, this show contains dramatic scenes of horror adult suggestive situations and descriptions of violence or gore in addition to strong language that could be unsettling to young listeners. Parental discretion is strongly advised. I can't believe your mother was mad enough to try to raise Upir Lishi, the first one. I tried to talk her out of it. Yet she was adamant he was the only way to defeat the Blood Reapers. And now you haven't heard from her? Not for months. And we know Lishi is out there. We've heard the reports. Yes. An ancient vampire destroying Blood Reapers and younglings alike. Cleansing the line, he used to call it. How many years has it been? I don't even remember. My Lord Jackie Hotep. Lord Leakey has departed. I do not know when he will return. Protectorate? You look rather, uh, crispy. Yes, my lord reminded me that failure was not to be tolerated. It hurts, 
Only when I move. And my manhood has regenerated, which helps. That's... Uh, good. I don't care about father. I'm looking for my mother. Did I forget this much? And? I cannot tell you. And why the hell not? I do not know you. Alistair Conacher, at your service. Well, Mr. Conacher, I cannot fail my lord again, or I will be utterly destroyed. Well, Protectorate, if you don't tell me where Mother is, your queen... I have many. She is but one. If you don't tell me where she is, I'm going to tear your limb from burnt limb and make sure your manhood never returns. I cannot. My friend, obviously you are in tremendous pain. I understand. However, you know that this world is not made for Upir Lishi. It's changed. We've changed. He will see we are not to his vision, and will destroy each and every one of us. Maybe you, Sireling, not his faithful disciples. And <laughs> what has that fate gotten you thus far? Burnt to a cinder. Not even recognizable as a human or vampire. My form will return in a hundred or so years. You can't fight us both. Either we end you here, now, or he ends you later. But reveal Queen Taninaqua's whereabouts, and maybe we can return Lishi to his eternal slumber, so you can have that 100 years. Honestly, I'd prefer we end you, lap dog. You're right, Mr. Conacher. I am in a no-win situation. There is a win to be had. Help us! This way... Jackie Hotep, is that you? How did you... Wait, how long has it been? Just a few months, Your Highness. We're very pleased to have found you. Alistair Conacher? I thought for sure you'd be dead by now. Strange he hasn't destroyed you both. What of Uber? Oh, he's out there. Mum, I told you not to do this. Yes, I fear I've made things worse. I didn't think he'd be so... Himself? Come now. He's always been this way. Don't speak ill of your father, Jackie Hotep. Protectorate, attend! Yes, your highness? Where is your master, Protectorate? I do not know, my queen. We must find him and find a way to stop him. Impossible. No one can defeat a god. He is no god! So, what do we do? Kill him? No, of course not! He is the first, the prime vampire. If I had functioning arms, I'd strike you down at the mere suggestion of such a thing. Be silent. You will not speak again. <sighs> Apologies, my queen. What did I just say? Then we do what, Mom? There's no way to stop him. No one is powerful enough. There is a way that we can get him to return to his sleep. But it is extremely dangerous. No, you cannot even think. That's it. I am finishing you off. Ah, ah, apologies, Your Highness. I will take my leave. You may continue your discussions of betrayal without me. One more word. Gods, that man gets on my last nerve. Where was I? Yes, the only way to convince him to return to his slumber. What is it? In our deepest legends, there is a story of a rare stone with the mystical powers of our god, Shesmu. We have a god. Did I forget to mention that? Oh, among many other things, you bastard. Anyway, the stone has the power to destroy all vampires, to reset the world without us. Every once in a while, when things get a little too mad... It has been used. The first vampires were not of Uper Laiki. Blood Reapers used the stone and ended the first age of the Feratu. It took a thousand years before Uper appeared and began the second age. So, how do we use this Shesmu stone? 
We don't use it, you fool! It is a threat to force him to return to his crypt. And if he still refuses? Then all is lost, brother. The human world will be subjugated. As will we. And everything we know, it will end. He may refuse at first, so we must make him believe we are willing to destroy the world of vampires for a millennia. And Ariana? Ariana? The traitorous whore? You still care for her after all she has done to us? If we are successful in returning Uper to his slumber, she will be destroyed with the rest of the Reapers. If you love anime and D&D, check out Warlock. It's the story of me, Nova Ravenwood, a young woman born without magic who forms a pact with a mysterious being for power. Set in a fantasy world of adventure, dragons, and powerful sorcerers, the story unfolds like an anime for your ears. And don't forget about our muscular hunk of a classmate, me, Ren. Too bad this is audio only, otherwise you could see that I'm flexing my arms off over here. Are you seriously interrupting the ad? You moron! Sorry, we'll get out of your way. Wait, 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 hang on. I haven't even told them about my amazing powers. I guess I should describe myself a little bit more first. First thing, I don't wear a shirt. Thanks, Briar. Join the quest and listen to Warlock wherever you get your podcasts. Or visit warlockpod.com for more information. <laughs> yes. Yes, my children, finish these blood reapers off as the vermin they are. It's safe to say we found Upeliki. Oh. Who are these <laughs> fucking sirens? <laughs> they have more strength than we do. I don't know, but... They are kicking our ass! Get off me! These are just normal silings. Oh, you think? We have got to pull back. Everyone, retreat! Oh, no. There will be no retreat! I will not allow... Oh, dare you! Look! He bleeds! We can fucking kill him! No, you can't! None of us can! We can't fight them and the vamp wolves! You don't have to. I have called for our retreat as well. <sighs> okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Regroup at staging area three. Wolf, follow me. I'm sorry, Master. They've retreated. You allowed them to escape? I'm afraid they have this time. Then you all are of no use to me. Begging your mercy, Master. We did deal them a substantial blow. The next time we face them, we will finish them. I do not tolerate failure. However, you did eliminate most of the vamp wolves and blood reapers. I must conserve my power for Jackie Hotep. I fear I may have to destroy my own son. Yes, master. Once Jackie Hotep is gone, nothing will stand in our way. <laughs> what do we even have left? <sighs> nothing. We're the last of the Blood Reapers, Cantello. I have to say we're destroyed. We've fared no better. Good, you fucking asshole. I understand the hostility, Cantello. But know this. Alistair and Jack left us to die. I am no longer allied with them. Why should we care? 
We should kill you right now for warring against us. Wait, you know Alistair? They turned us into this. We knew that, didn't we? I... I guess. I honestly still was trying to believe Alistair wouldn't be part of it. Part of it? He's the reason for it. I've known Alistair for 100 years. I would have never followed that fool, Jack. But I trusted Alistair. And he betrayed me. Yeah. It's time to come back to Kansas, Dorothy. Your fanfuck is a diabolical monster. Just like the rest of them. Fuck him. Fuck Jack. And fuck that motherfucker who just reamed us in the ass out there. I don't know how many of my pack remain, but we are all vampiric. We can add our strength to your numbers. And after we whack this boss? Then you are free to resolve your differences with Jack and Alistair as you see fit. We have no further quarrel with you unless you bring it to us. I'm afraid we are too few to bring in a fight to anyone. We need information. A way to get an advantage over Licky. Methuselah may know. Methuselah? Wait a minute. Yes, he was there. I lied to you. Alistair and Jack asked me to protect the old fool. You don't honestly believe he's the real Methuselah, do you? I do. Maybe not the biblical version. But at the very least, he's one of the oldest of the vampires. He must be nearly the same age as Licky. Do you know where he is, Ulfur? Yes, he's in the Florida wilderness. I believe it's called the Everglades. Fuck! That's miles of gators and anacondas and all types of shit that want to eat you. <laughs> it's not like they can really harm us. Yeah, but that shit will still hurt. I know where to find him, but I can't go with you. I must get my pack out of the city and to safety. Fuck! They call us vampires. These little fuckers must be fully vamped out by now. I doubt it works for all forms of life. Tell that to them. Hey, is that it? Yes, I believe so. Hey, hey, what the fuck, man? We finally got you, old man. Oh, fucking werewolves. You, you can't trust them goddamn flea bags. Look, look, Blood Reaper, I can offer you something better than me. Can you now? Oh, for fuck's sake, two? Three. Okay, 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 okay. Turn off the vamping and I'll tell you whatever the fuck you want to know. Just give me that bag over there. Uh, this? This looks like a bag of cocaine. High-grade Colombian yayo, baby. Quickly, hand it over. I need to be high for this. You bitches scare, scare the hell out of me. Oh, for fuck's sake. How about no? Spill the beans first, then you get to go to cloud nine. Oh, fuck, man. That's some bullshit. Methuselah. Methy, Methy. Everyone calls me Methy, man. <laughs> Is that because you do meth, too? <laughs> well, it isn't because I don't. Methy, how do we kill Upir Leaky? <coughs> kill, kill Upir Leaky, man? <coughs> <coughs> the first vampire? <coughs> the first vampire? Are you fucking joking? Oh, jeez. Do we look like we're joking, Bendel? No, and, and if you are, you're not very fucking funny, let me tell you. He's been put to sleep before, has he not? Sleep? <laughs> yeah, sure, he had no choice. How did they get him to do it? Well, it's one of the reasons he's so pissed off now. <laughs> hey man, are you sure I can't just hit one line? No! no. <sighs> fine, fine, fuck. So? Hold on. What 
hell is he doing? Looking for a book. When you get as old as I do, ladies, sometimes the uh, memory isn't so good, so I gotta write this shit down. <laughs> that whole thing with Jesus, yeah, the Disney version they give you today <laughs> is fucked. I got my own gospel right here. The real truth. Stay on target, Methy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fuck. Hold on. Where the hell are you? He's fucking stalling. Give him a minute. Ariana, go outside and make sure he didn't call in some sort of air support or something. <laughs> on it. Well, what the fuck do you think I am? I'm not the CIA. I'm I'm just an old bloodsucker. You can't die. Oh, trust me. You can die. I'd love to demonstrate. Ah, here it is. This is old. Wow. This isn't leather, it's... Vellum. I think I got it in Rome. I don't recall, honestly. The Chronicle of Shesmu. It's a lot of scripture. Latin. Can you read it? A little rusty, but yeah. Good. Then we no longer need him. Hold up, psycho. Two things. Coke was promised. Second, he said if I helped, you wouldn't kill me. Did I? I don't recall saying that. Do you, Lydia? Can't say I do. <laughs> Come on, man. That's fucked up. Besides, it doesn't matter. And why not? With what you hold in your hands, you will end us all. It doesn't matter if you kill me here, right now, or... Or leave. If you do as the Chronicle instructs, we're all dead. Thank you for listening to this episode of the final season of The Vampires of Whitechapel. If you like our show, subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or any of the podcast apps that podcasts are aired. Be sure to rate and review the show on Podchaser and other apps. It's how others can join our vampire coven. If you'd like to listen to commercial-free versions of this podcast, join us on Patreon at patreon.com slash TFA Entertainment. We will have exclusive vampires of Whitechapel content, including Patreon-only episodes, early access to these episodes, and behind-the-scenes interviews with actors and creators, all just for you. The part of Ariana Grayson was played by Cat Noel, Jack the Ripper and Alistair Conacher were played by Alexander Doddy. Larissa Cantello was played by Rita De La Torre. Lydia Grosvenor was played by Karen Heimdall. Queen Taninaqua was played by Erin B. Lillis. This episode guest starred Craig Storod as Ulfa, Charlie Brennan as Methy, Peter Lazarus Sevich as Protectorate, Wesley as Rando Werewolf No. 2, Geralt as Minion No. 1, and Philip Quintus as Uper Leakey. The episode was written, produced, and directed by J.C. De La Torre. Music for this episode was created by J.C. De La Torre and Atlantis Paradox. The Vampires of Whitechapel theme Awakening and the closing theme Dark Legacy was composed and performed by Midnight Syndicate. You can find out the latest news and developments regarding this audio drama at transmissionsfromatlantis.com. Be sure to follow the vamps on X at Ariana Grayson at Alistair the Vamp and at Jack the Ripper WC, but be warned, if you at them, they just may at you back. Converse with the creators of this fiction podcast by joining our Patreon, patreon.com slash TFA Entertainment. This has been a production of the Transmissions from Atlantis Entertainment Network. Until next time, keep the light on, and don't walk down any dark streets. 